It's Friday. I feel like a freaking loser. It is 12.30, 12.45. I literally woke up at nine o'clock, but I stayed in the bed and I played on my phone and then I like jumped up, like scared myself and I was like, oh sh I have like so much stuff to do today. Of course I need to go to the gym because that's, it's a must. Anyways, I woke up at nine. I sat in the bed for literally three hours and played on my phone. I need to stop doing that. Like that is like the worst thing ever. Like I need, I just need to delete Facebook because that's the one that gets me all the memes and stuff. And it's just like, I had a lot of things planned for today. I needed to go to TJ Maxx or Home Goods or something to get a new laundry basket. Like I wanted like a cute like wood or like a, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like a brown wicker basket, I guess. Is that the word? But yeah, it looks like I'm not doing that because I also wanted to do my homework. Well, I have to do my homework. Literally, I have six assignments due again. And they're due on Sunday. Like I said, today is Friday. So I have to do all of that. Ah, I was gonna, and I had to film another video. I bought a bunch of stuff again. Um, it's more like a collective haul though from American Eagle. So stay tuned for that video if you know. Um, so yeah, literally the gym is jam packed. I'm not going in there because one, Corona, two, what are y'all doing? It's one o'clock on a Friday. So yeah, I'm not even gonna attempt it. Instead, I'm gonna treat myself so some Dunkin' Don't 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 What? Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I do have a free coffee, so we're good over here. I think everything happens for a reason. Maybe I just needed to use my free Dunkin'. Actually, I'm just driving and I don't know where I'm going. Guys, I'm not texting and driving, I swear. I just need to know. Dude, I really want to trade. I have a Honda Civic if you don't know, and I really want to trade it in for a CRV. I'm just gonna run after Chris gets home from work, and it's cooler outside too. You guys know I live by the beach, so it's like it's just a really pretty jog um, right before sunset. So. Post ardently abuses cabinet post, destroy his reputation to New York. <laughs> We got the stuff. <sighs> Looks a lot darker than last two times, but I did get it without sweetener. I don't really know if that makes a difference. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Mm -hmm. Woo! All right, let's go home. Do you ever feel? I just realized um, why my gym was probably so packed. I'm, about, I'm posting a picture on Instagram. Follow me on IG if you don't already. <laughs> so I go to Anytime Fitness, if you're wondering, I don't, I don't know. But because of Corona, I don't know if you know, but Anytime Fitness, I guess a lot of gyms are like this. Like it is a franchise, but at the same time, different people own different Anytime Fitnesses, if that makes any sense. They're all owned by different people or like managed by different, I don't really know. So. I guess it's in their decision if they're open or closed right now. And mine just oh, happens to be open. I think it's because it is a smaller gym than the rest. Like it's like one of the smallest Anytime Fitnesses, I think. 
it's really tiny inside like it's kind of annoying i kind of want to i'm ready to move so i can go somewhere else um but anyways a lot of the anytime fitnesses what am i trying to say a lot of them are shut down because of corona and if you have anytime fitness just like if you have any kind of gym membership that's a franchise you can basically go to that gym wherever it is you just need to obviously check in or whatever um so yeah you need a key fob to get in the actual gym so if you have a key fob you can get into any of the anytime fitnesses and i feel like people are using ours because we so happen to be open and theirs are not which i mean it's great like people are motivated to go work out whatever like nothing's gonna stop them not even corona but little old me does not want to be up under your neck while she's trying to work out i could follow one of jeanette's um is it jeanette or janet girl correct me if i'm wrong but i'm about to plug you down below i've been obsessed with her channel lately she's new to youtube i think yeah she's kind of new but like her videos are so good the editing is so good her thumbnails are so freaking cute i have food in my mouth i'm so sorry but i'm shouting you out right now you did not ask for this i'm just plugging you because i'm obsessed but yeah guys check out her channel i'll have it linked below and please girl correct me if i said your name wrong but yeah i'm about to head home <laughs> To the groom, to the groom, to the groom, to the groom, to the bride, to the bride, to the bride. And I hope that you provide. Oh my god, I just realized I shouldn't have drove this way because TJ Maxx is on the street. Oh, we can go inside. There's no park. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's so many sketch people in LA. Do not move here. Like these people are weirdos, y'all. I just, I just left TJ Maxx. It is like three thirty. I was not. What the hell? And y'all aren't even gonna. I didn't even get a laundry basket. I didn't get one. And I forgot I had a coffee in here. It's still cold, but the ice is melt. Let's not drink that. Fuck! Uh, what did I just do? Yo, pray for me, cause I got an addiction, and it's called just buying shit. Yeah, I was going to wait until later to do the TJ Maxx haul, but I might as well just do it right now because it's already just sitting here, and I don't want it to be all over the place when Chris gets home. Um, so I'm gonna put it away. But first, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Is this angle okay? So I got a bunch of stuff, like I said, that I didn't need at all um this is my american eagle haul i feel like every vlog i have another pile of clothes that i need to show you guys later on in a video but um yeah so the first thing i picked up were these cynthia rally i'm gonna tell you the prices too because i love tj maxx because everything is so cheap ow even though i did spend like 200 dollars, but you're about to see why i bought a lot of crap all right, so the first thing I got were these Cynthia Rally like um, sleep joggers, and they just look like this. I just needed more like sleep clothes. I was gonna get shorts and like a top set, but I was like, no, I'm always freezing cold. I might as well just get pants. And these were $19 for a set of two. They just look like this. Cute, simple joggers. So I got black and white ones, and then I, it came with black ones. So excited for those. They're thin, like very breathable. Um, I got this black top from the junior section. It's in a size small and it was only $5.99, so $6. It just looks like this. Um, I thought it was super cute. I have like a bunch of clothes that I every time I like get dressed, I'm like, I, I need a black top, but that's like tight. And so I got this. Like, there's a reason I need I needed this shirt, you know? And I saw this super cute shirt just for like I don't know when I want to dress it up a little bit this was $12.99 and it just looks like this very girly it's like um, white with black polka dots or like just splash paint I don't even know what you call it. I was gonna say leopard but it's definitely not a leopard maybe it is I have no idea but it just looks like this super cute flowy wear those with my Steve Madden wedges the next thing I got was also 
Uh, this was $9.99 and it's a bodysuit. It just looks like this and I like it because it's high neck. A little bit more classy look. Um, and it's very nice material. I don't know. Gaze, whatever company that is, that's what this is. But it's super cute. It is like kind of the thongier one so you don't have a panty line which is great but yeah it just looks like that and it is a bodysuit and then I went into the men's section because my cousin she always wears like these cute t-shirts and I'm like where do you get those from and she's like literally like TJ Maxx Ralph whatever Marshalls in the men's section um so yeah I just got two men's shirts for myself like Chris can wear them if he wants but he's in the like bigger size shirts right now and I just bought men's smalls so yeah this isn't a men's small it's just a great t-shirt it says all good all good it's from the brand rebels and nomads I have no idea who that is but I thought it was simple cute and that's my favorite color in the middle if you don't know now you know and then I found a tie-dye shirt surprisingly this is actually I'm in a size medium and it was $9.99 and it's um pink floyd and yeah it's not tie-dye it's bleach is that it's just a bleach um pink floyd shirt it just looks like this again it'll be a little bit more oversized because it is in a size medium what's funny is chris and i were talking about already like moving because our lease is up in november and yeah i like this apartment it's really close to the beach it's really nice everything in here like the appliances and everything it's brand new we have our own washer and dryer but we were like let's like one up this year let's like get a better apartment and an actual like apartment complex washer and dryer in unit because our washer and dryer is in the garage um bigger closet because our closet's really small and you guys know literally in every video i have new clothes so we definitely don't have space here and yeah we need a bigger place to live so we're already talking about where we want to live and stuff. Plus, um, when I go to s school, I'm in school right now, but like I told you guys, I'm in a community college and it's online, so I don't really have to worry about like um, how long it's going to take me to get to class and back home. But when I do go to school, school in like January, like an actual university, um, we're trying to move closer to that university. I'm not going to say what university yet, just because I don't like to block my blessings. Also, I haven't been accepted to any yet because I haven't finished any of my applications <laughs> we're not gonna talk about that right now that'll be a different video later on in the year but look at this cute AF bag like girl um, I put on snapchat um, which one I should get and a lot of you said this one if you don't follow me on snapchat follow me on snapchat but a lot of people said to get the circle one it was actually in a lighter color and then i went back and i saw the darker color i was like let me get the darker color it's like a beachy boho th it's just cute it's just cute um the next thing i got chris is gonna hate me for this because he just bought me this phone case well he got me this for my birthday i think i got this phone case it's just like the apple one it's just obviously a knockoff version like it feels the same um but yeah again it's in my favorite color so i'm excited about this i'm actually gonna switch them out right now so much cuter no offense bubba i got this bior free your pores um micellar micellar my micel micel however you say that water cleansing water um I'm kind of iffy about like TJ Maxx kind of stuff that's like liquids or like shampoos, conditioners, soaps because it's like you never know how long they've been sitting on the shelf or how long they've been sitting in the warehouse in order to come to TJ Maxx um, and then like you know like stuff expires. Alright and then I'm obsessed. Um, Lucky Brand. I love Lucky Brand. I used to work at the store called Belk and they sold um, Lucky Brand stuff and I always put it to the side and hide it at work until it went on sale and then I would go use my, like, mili not military, my uh, employee discount and then just buy it, like, really, really cheap. But um, I got this gold necklace. It just has this saying. It says believe on it and then I don't know what that is and I don't know what that is, but it's super cute. It just looks like that. They had a lot of Lucky Brand jewelry. I was surprised. Like, I'm obsessed with that brand. 
because again it's like that boho looking whatever all right the next thing i got was this cute little um bracelet holder but i got it for my watches because all my watches are still like in the cases they came in and it's just bulky um and i'm ready to get rid of them so i just got this to put my watches on it just says hello pretty and it's in white and then you can also put like rings or something right here but i already have like a bunch of jewelry like um holders so this is probably just gonna hold my watches and hopefully it's big enough because i have a lot of watches um but i'm probably gonna sell some of my poshmark so check that out all right the next thing i got was this toothbrush holder case thing for the bathroom i don't really know i'm gonna tell you a story so i have one of these and it's the small like circle one and chris hates like putting his toothbrush next to mine i mean i get it he has like ocd but um so i got this because we can like put our toothpaste in the center and then he can have the left side i can have the right whatever um because he does this thing where he sets his toothbrush just like laying on the countertop and i freak oh it makes me cringe so bad or he'll sit it on the dresser but yeah hopefully he will use this this time guys so fingers crossed yeah i have two more bags this one just has um sheets in it of course my favorite color this is annoying these are calvin klein sheets they're in a size queen i bet is a full but it's one of those purple mattresses so it's really thick and when we buy full sheets for some reason it doesn't fit around the whole entire bed it'll pop up and that's so annoying so we decided we're gonna just start buying queen sheets so i got these again my favorite color and it's calvin klein chris will love that he loves calvin klein so i got these those are like 30 dollars not that bad it wasn't that bad all right the last bag guys if you don't want to pay thousands of dollars um twenty dollars for a candle go to tj maxx go to home goods they have candles they smell so good so you can get more bang for your buck and yeah basically that's what i did first i just want to show you guys this i just got a trash can for the bathroom do not use lid to extinguish flame i always just close it to turn the flame off but this is wood, so maybe I shouldn't need that. But I got this one. It's in the flavor vanilla brulee. Like I said, it smells so good, so fally. Like, it's not even fall yet. But, oh, my God. It smells so freaking good. And like I said, these last just as long as the Bath & Body. Actually, these last longer than the Bath & Body Works ones. I don't know why, but Bath & Body Works candles literally will burn out in, like, two days. And then I got another one. Um, DW Homes as well. And this one is cinnamon, apple, and oats. Sugar, spiced, and tart. <laughs> Dude, it's about to smell like a bakery up in here. Girl, what? But yeah, I'm excited to do, do. What am I talking about? <sighs> My God. Like I said, guys, when Chris got home, we went on a run. We literally just got back, just stepped in the door. I turned on the oven to put like, just preheat it for my dinner. I'm just having like a frozen thing from Trader Joe's because it is late, almost eight o'clock now. I did complete one assignment. So I have a lot more to go. Hey, There's mom. Chris in the background. Hey mom. Oh yeah, she does watch these. Hey dad, I love you. <laughs> Chris got something, I don't know what it is. He wants everyone to see. Anti-racist action. Aww. Nike on my body. This a That's leak. Nike? It's a leaks. That's Nike? No, it's a leaks. What is Nike crossbody got a piece in it. I'm going to shower while my food is in the oven because it takes like 35 minutes to cook. And then get back to my homework. Silhouette looking cinematic. Yeah, I bet that you wish you had.